Well, I guess I can finally retire the chain of good luck. Uh, that streak has been broken tonight, and the New York Rangers defeat the New Jersey Devils 5-3 tonight, and this is the post-game recap in less than five minutes or less. My name is Trevor. Sorry there was no pre-game report today. I just had a busy afternoon, and me getting to the game and all that didn't have time to film one, but <clears throat> what a game. Uh, round one of the Hudson River rivalry for this year, and, uh, for those who went tonight, boy, did you get your money's worth. What a hockey game that was. It definitely lived up to the hype, the expectations, everything going into it. And a good game throughout. It was an even game until the last five minutes or so, but we'll get to that. So it starts off uh, with the Rangers getting a 1-0 lead on a power play goal. Uh, excuse me, the power play goal. Uh, so they get off to a 1-0 start. And then immediately after, Jack Hughes in his first game back ties the game up at one and I will say Jack he played like he didn't miss a beat tonight the kid was on point doing everything he needed to did a damn good job in his first game back so welcome back Mr. Hughes so and you can just tell by him on the ice his skating his hockey IQ his senses his speed it, it, it looks like he never missed a game so welcome back Jack and he gets a goal in his first game back Rangers then make it two to one um yeah, that's a goal uh, Vanacek should have stopped on the second one. I'm just trying to think of it all in my head. So Rangers then go up 2-1, to one, and then a late power play. And who is it? Andre Palat, his first goal of the year. For Palat, ties the game up at 2, going into the first intermission. So knotted up at 2, and then the second period, boy, did it get physical. It got it got sloppy. It really did. Missed calls by both teams, by the refs. Devils lost a couple guys. No sick didn't return tonight. Dougie came back. I don't know what happened with him. Holtz took a bad, got punched in the face and started bleeding. A no call there. Michael McLeod takes it, checks someone. It was originally going to be a five-minute major, but that got taken back. It just hectic, that second period. But yet, and all somehow, it remained tied at two. So we go to the third period. And Eric Halla gives the Devils the lead early on. So I'm thinking, all right, here we go. Got some momentum now. Let's go, boys. Push. Unfortunately, uh, a goal right off the faceoff by Panarin, his second of the game. Uh, Vanacek could have done nothing about that one. That was just an amazing play right off the faceoff. Nobody expected it. I can't blame Vanacek on that third goal. It was just a beautiful set play right off the faceoff and just a perfect goal by Panarin. You can't stop that as a goaltender. You just can't. I don't care who it is in the net. So it's then 3-3, and you could just tell the momentum was just going to the Rangers' side after that. They had all the energy they needed. And then less than five minutes left, and then this is the dagger. Uh, they make it 4-3. to three. Vanacek has to stop that one. I, I get it was a backhander. I get it was... You have to stop that one. You have to that late in the game. And some of the saves he made tonight were great. He's stepped up with some of them and just played bad at worst times, and unfortunately, it was near the end of the game, and it cost the team. 4-3 Rangers at that point, they add on an empty netter to make it 5-3, and that is your final tonight from Penetra Center. A disappointing, heartbreaking ender for the Devils in that one. You have to come out of that with at least a point. You have to, and they failed to do so. <sighs> this team can fight. They showed it tonight. They played a damn good game, in my opinion. Were they on their heels sometimes? Absolutely. But they were getting chance. They were showing fight. They really were. And it cost them in the end. It cost them. And it's going to sting. That This is a loss that's going to sting. Because it's especially to your rivals. It's just... It's a bad, bad loss. It really is. So... The team will reset. Hopefully, Team Mayo comes back. We can't be going 11 forwards, 7 defensemen. We almost we had a short bench at one point during the game. We got to go back to a normal lineup. I can't with this 11 forwards and 7 defensemen crap. I can't. So, that's going to do it for this one. Um, it was a good game to attend, really. It was definitely worth it. Um, 
Devils and Rangers games are very hard to get into. Um, so I was just happy to be a part of this for this one. Packed arena. Mostly Ranger fans, I'll admit that. But nevertheless, it was a good time. Uh, had a great way to spend a Saturday night, man. A good hockey game. But it's just... Fuck. It's just a painful loss. It really is. This It's going to hurt. So... That's going to do it for this one. This is my last home game until November 28th. Um, I will be going up uh, Thanksgiving weekend to be with family, so I'm going to miss uh, two home games next week. But I'll be back on the 28th when the Devils play the Islanders at Potential Center. But I just I know I'm over the five-minute mark, approaching six, but I just want to end with this. Is the season dead? No. It's November 18th. There's still plenty of hockey left. But, improvements need to be made. On the ice and off the ice. That's all I'm going to say. And one last thing, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to my man DJ. Uh, thanks for coming tonight. Complete surprise. I didn't know if you were going to make it or not. Uh, so I just want to give a shout out to him for stopping by, hanging out. It was a good time seeing you, brother. So, congrats on your win. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching. My name is Trevor, and I will see you for the next one.